a Malenki Govorit about the Molodoy, the epilogue of A Clockwork Orange, translated out of NADSAT means a little conversation about the youth. Anthony Burgess wrote it to be published just before the debut of his stage version of the novel. A young newspaper reporter, identified only as A.B., interviews Alex, now in his early 40s, about the state of youth in 1987. Alex has become a family man, taxpayer, and out-of-shape pillar of society, according to A.B. But Alex says that he's never actually changed. He is fixed-like in his book. In the structure of a back-and-forth interview, they discuss youth, slipping in and out of NADSAT, and Alex makes these points. The youth do not think much, not one missile in their gullivers, and they pay no attention to the great music of the past. Even when the youth think they are engaged with issues, they're not. They claim to be against war and all for universal peace, but original sin makes peace impossible. They take too many drugs in an attempt to evade the culture of their elders, who have ruined the world, in A.B.'s words. When they engage in violence, they do so very cowardly and very like unkind, using guns and bombs that let them kill and maim from a long, long, long like way off. When it comes to violence, the perpetrator bleeds along with his victim. They must grow up and build instead of destroying. Alex sings words he wrote to Beethoven's Ode to Joy to make his point. They include these ideas. When you build instead of busting, you will write your own joyous ode. And do not be a clockwork orange, but instead look on both good and evil and then choose. Such choice is free but seldom easy, and it is the definition of human freedom. This epilogue and the stage adaptation of the novel are both parts of Burgess's tug in war with filmmaker Stanley Kubrick over Alex and his story. The epilogue also fixes Alex in his story, which is where Burgess wants him. He asks, after singing his version of Ode to Joy, whether he can now return to the pages of my book. A.B. replies, you never left them. 